Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be exploring how to predict compressive strength of concrete using a random forest regression. In this video, we will cover the entire process that is starting from importing the data, preparing it for analysis, training the model, evaluating its performance and saving it for future use. We will cover all the steps. During model training, we will also demonstrate how to fine tune model parameters, also known as hyperparameters, using a technique called grid search. Before we dive deep into today's tutorial, I have a small request. Behind every video, we do a lot of hard work to give you the best content. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your subscription means a lot to us and it really motivates us to create more useful tutorials like this. Let's dive into today's tutorial. We will first import the essential libraries for our project. These include NumPy, Pandas and uh, matplotlib. These are mainly used for data manipulation and data visualization purpose. Next, we import uh, some special functions from sklearn library for uh, special operations like uh, data preprocessing, hyperparameter tuning and uh, building machine learning models. Finally, we import the joblib library for saving the machine learning model for future use. We will also use this joblib library for uh, loading the saved machine learning model in our prediction file that we will see at the end of this tutorial. If we compare this tutorial to our uh, previous tutorial on uh, support vector regression, that is uh, this tutorial, you will notice we are importing the same libraries here also. The only difference is the choice of regression algorithm that is this one. In the previous tutorial we used a support vector regression and in this tutorial we are using this uh, random forest regression. Apart from that everything else is same. Now we start by importing our data set into the current project. We obtained this uh, data set from UCI machine learning repository. You can find the links for this repository here. You can download the data set from these links. This data set contains eight input features. Uh, they are cement, blast furnace slag, fly ash, water, superplasticizer, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, age, and only one output feature that is compressive strength of concrete. Uh, overall, we have 1030 specimens and uh, these nine columns represents the features in which eight are input features and one is the output features, total nine features. Next, after reading the data from Excel sheet into a pandas data frame, we then convert our uh, data frame to a NumPy array for easier manipulation and compatibility with uh, libraries used for data preprocessing and uh, machine learning model building. After converting to a NumPy array, we are further splitting this uh, NumPy array into input and output features. So I am putting the first eight input features into a NumPy array called X and the only output feature I am putting in a NumPy array called Y. So overall we have 1030 samples with eight input features and 1030 samples with one output feature. Next, this is the main uh, machine learning code where we train, test and build our main machine learning model. We first initialize the R2 variable to zero. This variable is used for uh, storing the R2 score value at the end that is here. Next, we created a loop while loop and this loop continues the training until the R2 score value exceeds 0.9. Any value greater than 0.85 is statistically good but I am aiming for 0.9 here. Next inside the loop we first split the data into training and testing sets using this uh, train test split function of sklearn. Then we scale the training and the testing data using standard scalar function. So just like a support vector regression, scaling is very crucial for random forest regression as well. This scaling ensures that all features contribute equally to the prediction process. Next here we initialize some hyperparameters and perform grid search using grid search CV function to find the best combination of hyperparameters for our random forest regression model. Hyperparameters such as n estimators, max depth, minimum sample split, minimum samples leave, max features are used in this particular case. We will fine tune these parameters to optimize the model performance. Once the best parameters are obtained, we then construct a new random forest regression model with these parameters and train it on the scaled training data. The trained model is then used to make predictions on the scaled testing data. We then calculate the R2 score value to evaluate model's performance. As I said before, any value greater than 0.85 is statistically good, but I'm aiming for 0.9 in this case, just to be on a safer side. After achieving satisfactory performance, we then terminate the training loop and print a message stating that training is completed. 
so overall uh, we have got this uh, 0.92 r2 score this is decent we can use it for further predictions uh, so here we visualize the models predictions of concrete compressor strength against the actual values this visual inspection helps us understand how each input feature contributes to the prediction and again insights into the underlying relationships of our data so if you look at these first two plots so overall we have eight input features but uh, in this particular cell i am just plotting uh, two input features they are cement quantity and blast furnace slag against our uh, concrete strength so if you look at here the ml predictions and uh, the actual values are nearly close so we don't see any higher deviations in terms of predictions so overall our predictions are decent we can say that the machine learning model is satisfactory let's see how well uh, the predictions of concrete compressor strength from the machine learning model performs against the remaining parameters so here in this cell i plotted all the remaining parameters like fly ash water super blast size or coarse aggregate fine aggregate age so if you look at here these are the cement quantity and the blast furnace lag which i just plotted above so if you look at the remaining plot so fly ash water they are good super flash sizer and coarse aggregator also good i don't see any great deviations so here even this remote point is also predicted well fine aggregate and uh, age is also decently predicted overall we can say like uh, our machine learning model is decent enough finally once the training and testing is over so we then save the developed model including uh, the scalar object used for pre processing for our future use uh, saving the scalar object is very essential to maintain the consistency in pre processing the new input feature during future predictions uh, we are using uh, joblib library for this uh, saving the data later we use the same library for loading the saved data for future predictions now that if you run this code so the training and testing will be done after that these two files will be saved into your local directory let's explore how can we use this uh, saved model and uh, scalar objects for future predictions uh, so this is our uh, predict file in this jupyter notebook we load our uh, previously saved saved machine learning model and scalar object using joblib library so let's create a new input feature using numpy array this new input feature represents a new concrete mixture and uh, we will use this input feature to make the new prediction we first pass this uh, new input feature to this just loaded uh, scalar object so this scalar object will uh, scale the new input feature so we then store the scaled input feature in this new input feature scaled array we then pass this uh, scaled input feature to our machine learning model for a prediction so the predicted compressor strength of concrete from this uh, machine learning model will be saved in this variable yp and uh, here i am printing uh, the compressor strength of concrete uh, overall the compressor strength of concrete predicted by random forest regression is uh, 60 mpa excluding the values after decimal point that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you like our content please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel Happy learning thank you